Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. I went out and picked up all of the microfiber towels that the Harbor Freight Grants um, has to offer. And they really will cover everything you have to do. All of the chores within the car deal detailing, auto detailing industry. I'm gonna go over all of them with you, uh, give you a close look at the towels, what they're best for, what each one should take care of within the auto industry uh, and detailing. So without further hesitation, let's get started. First up, and this one was the most interesting to me because I didn't know they had this type available. This is a rather large 16 by 16 size, 80 polyester, 20 polyamide blend of uh, microfiber towel. Edgeless, and this would be something I'd be looking for to remove polish oils, waxes or sealants, depending. Uh, perfect for soft or clear coats. Number one chore for me would be polished oils, and we'll get into that a little bit later. So I got two packs of those. Uh, then I also did get two packs that are similar, but not exactly similar. Even the part numbers are different. Uh, this is a 12 pack of the uh, absorbent 12 by 12 uh, for cleaning, polishing, uh, I like the no lower nap towels for coatings, so that's primarily what these are going to be for, or interiors. Um, but there is a difference between the two, and one will be for coating, and one will be for interiors, and we'll get into that a little bit later, and we'll take a closer look. I also picked up the glass towels. These are the quote-unquote streak-free 16 by 16, 425 GSM glass towels, 8713 blend of polyester, polyamide. We'll get to these a little bit later, show you how these work. And then finally, we have uh, the big one here. This is the extra, extra large uh, drying towel, 36 by 24. Again, quote-unquote lint-free and scratch-free and for the bigger jobs. So this is like a six foot square towel. Uh, we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna get a closer look at all of these. Let's get into the next segment. This is the large drying towel sprawled out over the front clip of the 63 Corvair, just to give you an idea of the size. Uh, it does say that it is compatible with your drying aids. It has two sides. We have the green fibers on this side, optimized for drying paint, while the gray fibers on this side are aimed towards drying glass. And then you do have the border, um, more like a, a silk-like edge. Now this is stitching, so you need to be aware of that, but it is a very soft material. It's not your stiff, your regular stiff stitching that you would, uh, that you could imagine. And then there is, a line of stitching in a crosshatch pattern here, but that is inside the towel. Rather soft. As we take a closer look, a very soft towel, soft fibers, kind of clumped together in these groups. That's how they are. And as we get towards the edge, you could see, let me uh, get this focused in for you. You can see the edge is a silk-like material, not your stiff stitching. So this will help with reducing scratches. And then on the other side, you're gonna have the fibers are just a little bit different. Let me get this focused in and you have uh, more tightly wound fiber groups. Still very, very soft. All right, let's see how it performs. And again, there's the edge. So we'll wet this front clip as if you've just finished washing with a bucket wash or your rinseless wash method, doesn't matter. And we'll come in with the paint portion of the drying towel. I can tell you, it really doesn't matter which side you use. 
and I'll just drape it over, pull it towards me, and what I'm looking for is that it dries the panel with just one swipe of the towel so I'm not repeating myself and going over the same area over and over and over again. Once the towel has been washed for the first time and it gets a little bit damp, a little bit wet, the damper it gets before it gets saturated, the better it seems to work. And it just dries the car in one swipe. That's what you're looking for. Nothing really special about it, but the important part, it is functional. Very easy to use. Let me get you a close up here, soaked. Again, what you wanna do, just lay the towel on the panel, slowly pull it towards you, no pressure whatsoever. You can use your drying aid to reduce a little bit of scratching and it's dry, so very effective. I do wanna warn you, the way they have this thing folded, you're gonna have these plastic tags here and there that need to be pulled out. If you, if you don't, there's a risk of scratching, but yeah, works well. Wash and drying, low heat, both. Tumble dry, low heat. That will, the tumble dry and low heat will help delint them. By the way, I always need to reiterate when you're drying a vehicle, this method here is always going to be second best and it's going to be second tier compared to forced air for drying your car. So you dry it that way without touching it. And you know, that involves your either leaf blower or a handheld blower or a shop uh, vac metro blower. Whatever you have, I would recommend over a towel, but this would be second tier for me. Let's move on. Moving along to the 12 pack of 16 by 16, 350 GSM. I was wrong on these just looking through the pack. The one side is 350, the other side is a lower nap. So that means you can use these for a lot more projects than I was going to mention, and we'll cover those. Before we get to that, even though they're in a package, they are not sealed. They have this open so you can feel how plush this is, uh, but dirt gets in there during shipping and there's one on either side. So tear that open, throw these all in the wash first. And that includes the first drying towel that I used and all the other ones that will follow in the next segments. So there are two sides. This is a lower nap side. This is a more plush, the 350 GSM side. The most important part to me no stitching on the edges. Let's take a look at the more plush side and get this focused in. And there you can see right there is gonna be the best, the best shot. Let me give you some light. And that's what we're looking at here. Nice and plush, kind of clumped together, but that's, that's how it looks. Let's get to the edge. There we go. No stitching. And that's the way you want it. Let's flip it over. And this is what the lower nap looks like just to give you an idea. And we come to the edge. Lower nap to me means a little bit less lint or less chances for lint. But there are jobs and chores for both sides. So let's get into that. Now me personally, I would be using this towel right here for one niche category within detailing, and that's paint correction for wiping off the polish oils. And it doesn't matter what side. Uh, the softer side here for softer clear coats, those that are, are more susceptible to marring the paint just from mere wiping off of the polish oils. And then you get some clears uh, or single stage that's stubborn and the polish oils are hard to wipe off. That's when I would flip over to the shorter nap side here. But I would use these, and it's just me, uh, for the correction, the paint correction stage only. Let me give you a quick demonstration. I 
guess it helps if you open up the cap a little bit and not put three gallons of polish on your pad. That's good enough. So I'll leave it on real thick and clumpy and we'll come in. I always like to fold the microfiber into fours and have a few sides to work with. And that's how easy it is wiping up polish oils. Even as thick and clumpy as that was, that wasn't worked. It wasn't spread out properly. Then one thing to remember, if you're working on single stage, just like this 63 is here, you may want to use older ones, uh, maybe your B tier towels, because there you're going to get uh, pull up all of those paint molecules and get clogged up and won't be quite as effective. So I would throw them away when you're finished. But on clear coat, you can get many, many uses as long as you keep the heat down. And it depends on how many times you wash them. The more they get washed, the hotter they get the more these fibers curl up into a ball and harden like a fist. And that's where, you know, that's where I move them down to the lower tier interior work uh, inside the engine bay, door jams and areas like Next that. Next up, are, there, this is the 12 pack, uh, 12 by 12 of the microfibers for cleaning and polishing. And I would use these for interiors and just have them sticking to those types of jobs. This is what it looks like. The same nap on both sides. When we take a closer look, you're gonna see that the stitching is, how can I say, it's a little bit more coarse, coarsely stitched on the edges than the other towel I'm gonna break out next and the other towels. So that's why I would delegate these for interior work. Let's take a closer look. With this group of towels, first thing you wanna do before throwing them in the wash is get rid of that tag that can scratch. And then all of, take your time, and get all of the fibers from that tag off of there as well, all of these. As we take a closer look and I get this focused in, you can see the grouping of fibers on this particular towel. And when I get to the edge, that's the important part. We're getting there and then we focus in, you can see how kind of grainy these stitches are, a little bit stiffer than the other towels. And I would delegate these for interiors because of that. Same thing on the other side. All right, let's see how they perform. So for me, these towels are great using cleaners or quick detailers on interior surfaces. Um, just spraying into the microfiber and either cleaning or spreading the protectant, flipping over, mopping that stuff back up. Not only on your hard plastics, but even some of the more delicate surfaces, these are gonna be perfectly fine. And we'll include the door jams as well, even though they're painted surfaces a little less important on some vehicles to worry about with the stitched edging, but still functional. Care instructions for the towels in this pack. Hand or machine wash in warm, soapy water with like colors. Do not wash with other products. Do not use fabric softener, tumble dry, low heat, as I mentioned before. Air drying recommended, hang them outside. Do not iron. And I use personally the 3D towel clean to wash mine, or just go to your local grocery store and pick up some generic, no frills, no scent, uh, no softener, clear wash machine liquid. And next up, and the only thing that differs these is kind of the stitching on the edges. Everything else is exactly the same. Uh, even the part number 
is different from one pack, from the small pack to the larger pack, but not much of a difference. But I would use these for coatings. Let's take a closer look. Well, let me take one of these out for you first. Again, because of these windows to get in there and feel how soft it is, you need to wash these before use. These are going to have tags as well. Get rid of those and any attached stitching that went with them. And then wash them and dry them low heat. And then with a closer look at these, pretty much the same when it comes to the center of the towel on both sides. It's just the stitching. That's a little bit different to me anyway. And for me, I would delegate these to coatings. And I would team these up with coatings, all coatings, but especially with BC7, Blue Collar 7. This is our more concentrated, higher solids coating, uh, a little bit thicker, a little bit more grabby. We'll grab more of those fibers, so a good, uh, sturdy, short nap towel is going to be my go-to. So we'll demonstrate how these towels work with a coating. As viscous as this, and we're going to lay it on really thick. This bottle's just about shut. Okay, first towel, just come in, kind of mop up as much as that transfer solution as you can. The second towel comes in and buffs to perfection and it is the perfect pile for coatings. And as economical as these are when I'm done, uh, I downgrade these to interior towels. Um, dirty jobs, under the hood. I do not use these on paint again because the coating can crystallize in, in the uh, fibers. As easy as that. On to the glass towels, the quote-unquote ultimate streak free towels. Well, they work okay. So these are a waffle weave pattern, and I'll show you that when we take a closer look. This also has the stitched border or edge. It's a 16 by 16, 400 GSM, and the blend is 8713 polyester to polyamide blend. So let's take a closer look. Let's take a closer look at the waffle weave on the glass towels. No tags to speak of with this group. And it's already focused in so you can see the grouping much more organized, much tighter with these deeper pockets. Let's go to the edges. Let me focus in on the edges. That's how those are wound and stitched, kind of braided. Other side is exactly the same. Really made to mop up a lot of dirt and moisture. Okay, let's see how these work. Before we get to the demonstration here to see how these work, um, if you are watching and you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe, hit that notification bell that will let you know when we have new content for you. We are growing quickly. We are riding another wave. It's so weird with the algorithm for YouTube. It goes in waves and we're gaining a lot of subscribers again after kind of a slow or, or dead month. So help the channel grow. The more we grow, the more resources we have to pick up this stuff. Uh, these aren't sponsored videos. I'm getting this, uh, these materials and products and tools to share with you uh, to let you know what works and what doesn't. And um, a growing channel, a successful channel, has the resources to do that properly. Also, if the video helps, throw a like.
If you don't like the video, hit the down button. I don't care, because either way, it helps the channel. The worst thing you can do is just ignore it. Um, and if you have anything to say, anything you want to share, uh, I like when you guys share what works for you. I don't care if it's what I'm reviewing or what it's, you know, what may be in your possession that I don't have. If you think everybody needs to know about it, put it down in the comment section and let everybody see. We all want to help each other and that kind of helps. So now that I have that out of the way, let's clean these windows. And just to let you know, just by me mentioning um, for you guys to hit the like, subscribe, and all that other jazz and leave a comment, that helps when it comes to YouTube's algorithm. It looks for those particular words in a video. I hate to do it every video. I don't want to repeat myself over and over and over again and bore you guys, but just thought I would share that with you. These work rather well. Just a couple swipes with the towel. I'll bring you in closer for this window up here. And maybe you can get a better sense of how these work. Pretty dirty window from the transfer or the um, slip solution for PPF. And that stuff is slimy and gets everywhere. So I like to spray the cleaner on that, uh, that type of surface and uh, let the surface soak it in and let it do its job before wiping off right away. And you can see that. Just a quick swipe of the towel, and that is gone. Very good towel. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. All these towels available in one place. How about that? And locally, so you don't have to order and wait for them to come in and pray for shipping if you're in a pinch. In a pinch, these are perfectly fine. And I even left out waxes and sealants. They work perfectly wiping them off and handling them as well. If you've used these and you have worn them down and worn them out, let us know in the comment section how they're holding up and the best care tips for them. And your overall opinions, they matter to me. I read them all and I appreciate them. This has been Brian from Apex Detail. Catch you in the next video.